You know, I used to think this was heaven. My mistake. I, I don't think it's hell, but I think it's some sort of uh, purgatory state, a bardo state, if these are the right words. An in-between state where the soul comes down on a daily basis uh, with a chance to uh, rectify sparks of that soul uh, and then go back up to a different state, uh, like a heaven state. But uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, this is hell down here. And it's hell from the institutional structures that perpetuate themselves and look the other way. You know? Uh, governments, uh, police systems, uh, religious systems, educational systems, what educational systems did to me. Oh, what it did to me. Now, medical systems, legal systems, the perpetuation of the institution. That's basically it. We accept institutions as if that's the way it's supposed to be. And quite frankly, we accept group thought. Even in Judaism, again, you have know, become very long-winded in what I'm trying to say. Even in Judaism, it's the group. Judaism started with Moses, so to speak, at Mount Sinai, and it's the group, group thought. Well, what happened to the religion of Adam and the individual thought? And the individual thought doesn't, doesn't have much power in Judaism. It has to do with the Jewish group. And again, this Jewish group has a consciousness that has a societal effect and a, a, a societal overlooking of, of shortcomings that Every other group has. And it's a silence. It's the same as what happens in the church with pedophilia. It's overlooked because of, because of, of the institutional effect. For the good of the whole, the individual is lost. So, again, it's not that I was wrong, but kind of naive. what they call in, in the Talmud a uh, hasid sote, a, a, uh, a um, 
it's kind of like a, uh, a, a, a well, it's a fool. <laughs> Sote is a fool. A righteous fool. That's what I am. Misunderstanding. I'm in an understanding that Well, it's kind of a joke. 